Hey everyone, uh, elbow joint tutorial here. So this is what we're going to try to create. I'm actually changing a couple of these values because I believe the uh, the actual size of the pipe should be a little larger. I want to be using these diameters over here, the 1.12 and the 0.88. All right, so I'll be changing these values here for you guys shortly. Okay, but coming back over, I want to create a new part studio uh, in my Cperch assembly document. Right, I'm going to use a sweep and a shell command to create my elbow joint. Okay, so first thing I want to do is come over to sketch. I'm going to sketch on the front view. And I'm going to face that normal. And uh, I'm going to create the general path. Okay, Always start from the origin is what I recommend. I'm going to create these two lines that are perpendicular to each other. And then dimension them. Okay, so And I want this first dimension to be 1.25. I want this also to be 1.25. Okay, so that's basically the elbow piece. Uh, to make it a little bit smoother, I'm going to add a sketch fillet to these two edges to round it out. I'll click on it first to create it, and then I'm going to change this number to 0.6. Okay, so this is basically how the elbow will fit together. I hit the check mark. Now to create a sketch. Uh, sorry, a sweep, uh, what I need is a shape that's going to follow this path. Okay, so I notice that, again, I use the origin, so I'm going to draw on my right side plane. So I'm going to hit sketch. Now I'm going to choose the right side plane, and I'm going to draw from the left here. Okay, so this is going to be, starting from the origin again, I'm going to draw my general circle, which is the outer diameter of the uh, elbow. I'm going to select there, and I'm going to use that 1.12 again as the um, diameter of the outer portion of the elbow. Hit the checkpoint. All right, now I've got I'm ready for a sweep. I've got a shape, and I've got a path. Okay, so sweep command. And if you remember when we did our on shape tutorials, this was what we used for the paperclip. Okay, so hopefully that helps. All right, so first thing, face and sketch region to sweep. I want to use the circle. Then I'm going to choose my sweep path. I want the entire sketch over here. So I'm going to go ahead and select it from uh, my features list. All right, And you can see here, I have my basic elbow joint created just like that. It looks pretty good. I'll hit the check mark. And I want this to be hollowed out. So I would want to use the shell feature, which is over here. Okay, So the shell command is next, faces to remove. I want to remove both ends so that it's not capped off on one end. I could be able to uh, put PVC pipes in on both sides. And for the shell thickness, um, we, what we really want is the difference. So I'll be, uh, I'm going to do 1.12 minus the 0.88, which is the inner diameter. And I want to divide that by 2 because, again, I want it on both sides. Okay, So that turns into more of a radius to, uh, subtraction. Okay, hit enter. I'll kind of zoom in here. It looks pretty good. Hit the check mark. And we've got an elbow joint. And if you notice, the elbow joint also has a hole here. Easiest way to do that is using the origin. Okay, so again, I'm going to open up the hole command. And I believe I actually need to create a point first. So I'm going to do that just in case. I'm going to kind of come over to my sketch again, uh, create a point at the origin. Hit the check mark. Okay, that should help me out now. And go back to my hole command. Okay, from here I'll use a simple through M6 is about a qu uh, quarter inch diameter hole. Uh, that should be pretty good. Now for the sketch points, again I want to open up my sketch too. I want this point right there. And I should see the hole go right all, all the way through. It's the easiest way to deal with that hole. Hit the checkpoint, and I believe we're pretty good. All right. The only other thing I would do at this point is, again, just kind of some formatting stuff. I would make sure I assign it a material. All right. Uh, I want it to be PVC. Okay. Hit the checkpoint. I will probably rename this as well, uh, elbow joint, and I would. Typically do the same thing down here in the tabs. Right click, rename, elbow joint. Okay, very important to stay organized. That way you can find things. And the last thing, more for fun, I might edit the appearance 
Uh, again, Northville Orange. Let's go with that. Go Mustangs. And I've got my elbow, PVC elbow joint. Ready to go.